Richard Hamilton's Just What Is It That Makes Today's Home So Different, So Appealing was created in 1956. It is located in the collection of the Kunsthalle Tübingen in Tübingen, Germany. Richard Hamilton was an English painter and collage artist. His 1956 collage, Just What Is It That Makes Today's Home So Different, So Appealing, is considered by critics and historians to be among the earliest works of pop art. For Hamilton, pop art meant emerging in popular culture, such as movies, television, magazines, and music. His alignment with the Rolling Stones and the Beatles, for whom he designed the White Album cover as a limited edition print, demonstrates he succeeded in bridging this gap between high art and consumer culture. Just What Is It That Makes Today's Home So Different, So Appealing was created for the catalog of the exhibition This Is Tomorrow in London, England and was first reproduced in black and white. This Is Tomorrow was an art exhibition in August 1956 at the Whitechapel Art Gallery in London. The exhibition included artists, sculptors, and graphic designers who got together in the 1950s to discuss aspects of visual culture that were considered part of a traditional artist's work. The independent group wanted to challenge the modernist approaches to culture and got the public's attention with his participation in this exhibition. Since most of these imports were from America, it made them especially fascinating. The exhibition's most remembered exhibit was the room created by artists such as John McHale and of course Richard Hamilton. The collage consists of images taken mainly from American magazines. It focused on American mass culture and depicts the post-war consumer culture of the late 1950s. The living room is crowded with objects of desire, a TV set, tape recorder, and the bodybuilder's muscles. It can be said that the crowded imagery of this collage is the depiction of the new culture that will not be sustained. Hamilton laid the groundwork for pop art and introduced the ideas as an active consumer and contributor to mass culture. In Britain, during the early post-war era, there was a sudden desire of streamlined consumer goods from the United States. Much of the middle class was still struggling in England in a slower post-war economy, so this collage was filled with state-of-the-art luxuries. The collage presents all the ways of communicating available at that time and reflects Hamilton's interest in popular culture and technology. Hamilton designed the collage as a parody of American advertising. The title was actually the first line of a copy in an ad that appeared on the inside cover of an American magazine called The Ladies' Home Journal in 1955. It also introduced the theme of interior design and created an image of the future. In his collage, Hamilton inserted various objects and the most eye-catching figure is the nude bodybuilder, and in his right hand he holds an enormous lollipop. In addition to the television and vacuum cleaner, various items representing the modern consumer economy surround them. A large tin of ham, the Ford Motor Company crest, and a tape recorder. What well, first appears to be the ceiling of the room, if you look closer, it looks like a photograph of outer space, which can represent the space race between the Soviet Union and the United States, which began on August 2, 1955. Hamilton's collage emphasizes on the nude man who is built with an ideal body as well as the nude woman. They can be recognized as a contemporary Adam and Eve surrounded by the temptations of the post-war consumer goods. Hamilton's collage is iconographic because it was created during a time in which people were fascinated by television, cars, theaters, and recording devices. As you see, he uses this imagery in his artwork. In the left side corner of the collage, Hamilton inserted an arrow that read, Ordinary cleaners reach only this far. The implied line allows Hamilton's audience to assume that nobody can maintain their mainstream image when they vacuum the stairs. So fortunately, they get a maid to do it. Also, with the longer hose of the vacuum, the hired help can stay farther away from the homeowners. The proportion of the maid in Hamilton's collage also depicts how she is less important than the homeowners. One aspect of this collage that is inspired by pop art is a young romance poster on the wall. It overpowers the portrait next to it, which is in black and white, so the audience can assume it is from a past generation. The young romance poster is bigger, colorful, and more dramatic. 
The young aspect is intriguing, and I assume Hamilton plays these two portraits to compare life before pop art. Aside from all the things they do own, it's interesting to explore what they don't have. We can see that the only phone in the room is on the television. This may serve to show that the continual source of the homeowner's inspirations and desires. They watch television to learn about what else they need. The collage clearly expresses the culture fascination of the perfect American lifestyle and an up-to-date image of contemporary life. Richard Hamilton's contemporary Adam and Eve's image is dependent on the things they own and the things they own are determined by mass media and mainstream consumerism. The main ideas pop art has about consumerism as well as fame and placing value can be seen in Hamilton's collage. The artwork I decided to create is a collage just like Richard Hamilton's. I was influenced by the crowded imagery in his artwork and the use of items popular in the consumer culture of America. I cropped items out of articles and inserted them into a background of a lavish living room. One of the most prominent figures in Hamilton's collage is the nude woman sitting on the couch. I have placed the Kardashian family on the living room couch in my artwork because they have become iconic figures in popular culture. I also inserted ways of communicating just the way Hamilton did. I replaced the tape recorder and black and white television with iPhones and a flat screen TV with Netflix provided. These two items are consumer goods that are in high demand as well as the Fortnite character which has become a worldwide phenomenon that can be used for entertainment and communication. I also inserted the girl sitting by the coffee table whose attention is completely focused on her cell phone. As we all know, Social media is a great way to participate in social networking, however, human interactions are becoming more absent. Just as Hamilton placed a maid away from the homeowners, I placed a maid robot, which I believe will soon be part of American households. However, it will be considered a luxury and only those who can afford such luxury will be able to enjoy it. The robot's proportion is also smaller to the homeowners which depicts how it is less important. Just what is it that makes today's home so different, so appealing, is remarkable because at the time, in 1956, it would be several years before the phenomenon of pop art was recognized. Somehow, Hamilton sensed the direction in which contemporary art was moving and laid the groundwork for pop art.